completed on this tour. It was, it was exciting too. We'd just come onto the show and we were all just utterly out of our minds with excitement about this show that we were doing and everything that they handed to us was like, this is the best thing ever. So when I got handed um, a leather top and black je blue jeans and a huge boots, I just, yeah, it was out of my mind. <laughs> I was so excited. Do you remember Devon? Cool. What is it? My best part of being in America. Um, I've loved meeting you guys, actually, to be honest. Like, I'm not being cheesy. It's, um, it's been really awesome to hang out with you guys and, and see what you think of the show and get to know you a little bit. So that's been really cool. And I like Twizzlers. Those cherry Twizzlers. I'm into those. Those are good. Um, I haven't seen much, yeah, I haven't seen too much of America yet, but I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> what, was what was it like looking at myself when I was pregnant? Um, a little disturbing, uh, to be honest. It's um, I've got this mortal fear of having children because <laughs> I can't really look after my goldfish, let alone um, let alone small people. Um, so that was yeah, sort of seeing seeing that, I just sort of yeah, kind of terrified me. <laughs> what is your most memorable moment that has come as a result of being on a tribe? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Because I usually get the what's the most memorable moment on screen, and that's hard. But um, off screen, um, probably some of this stuff actually, some of the tour stuff, just being, um, just being in amazing countries and doing amazing things. You know, like going to Bogging in Norway and um, having a thousand people screaming your name in Germany and um, what else? Walking up and down Oxford Street in London, like all that stuff would never have happened unless I was on the tribe. So. Probably, yeah, I mean, aside from all the fun times we've had on, off screen and on set and stuff, um, yeah, probably just the, the, the travels, that was pretty amazing, yeah. What's the best joke that you've played on set? The first one that popped into mind was, was it on set, it was actually on our last tour, and it was actually really mean, but it was April Fool's Day and we totally couldn't resist. Do you, go, do you guys know Debbie James, who plays yeah. Zoot? Yeah. Anyway, we all went out for the day. And Danny was back at the hotel, and uh, do you guys know who Atomic Kitten is? No. Like a girl yeah. band, and yeah, and we had one of the members of the band staying at the same hotel we were in, and an actor called Jeffrey Rush, so we were all a little bit starstruck. But Danny was staying at the hotel that day, and we were going out, and it was April Fools, and we thought, well, we totally can't let this one slip by. So we told Danny that he had a, um, a photo shoot with Atomic Kitten and Jeffrey Rush. <laughs> In terms of what inspired me, I guess I wasn't inspired by, inspired by anything but the fact that I enjoyed it and I seemed to do okay at it. So, um, and after that, I you know, started getting more and more into watching films. And, and now, um, the main actress that inspires me is Kate Blanchett. Yeah. I know lots of people have been talking about Ambex lately, but... Am what Am is Amber and Lex. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. What are your views on that? I just, <laughs> what are my views on Amber and Lex getting together? That's the question. I think it's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> when do you guys get this one? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's funny, but. Good girl, bad boy. Good, yeah, but it's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> Personalities do not match. <laughs> I mean, really, he's real stupid and mean, and she's, <laughs> and she's all, you know, diplomatic and. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> no, I just don't think it's right. <laughs>